We're going to get out of here, you guys. Thanks a lot. Donna, say goodbye. Goodbye. Dave, say goodbye. goodbye. Hasta Lumbago. Thanks a lot, everybody. A couple trick, uh, b- b- these things here, clips from the truck and bozo, Dave's father, and we're out of here. See you guys later. I think uh, the reason a lot of us get into the business is because uh, I know several people that are like myself. They're very introverted. We're basically shy people. And... Uh, most of us were probably not the most popular guys in high school. Uh, you know, we had, uh, we were probably ugly ducklings when we were kids. You know, look at me, I didn't turn into no beauty queen, you know. But in any event, I was not the most popular guy in school and I had visions of someday being somebody special. And when I found that I could get behind the microphone and be the person that I wished I could be all the time, then I was happy. Then when my show would be over, then I'd go, you know, well, it's kind of even, you know, I'd leave. But then I'd get behind that microphone a few hours every day, and uh, I always wanted to be, you know, the life of the party. I think all of us want to be that. You know, we want to be popular. So when I get behind the microphone, I can be the person that I really want to be for five hours a day, and then that's about all I can handle it. So when I leave home, and I often say this, when I go home, the bozo stays here and Dale Summers goes home. Because I couldn't live with the bozo 24 hours a day. Yeah, 700 WLW. Well, good morning. Getting a late start here. All right. It's, what, 13 away from 2 o'clock in the Eastern Time Zone already. And I'm Dale Summers, the drug and bozo. We're uh, live and direct from our studios in Cincinnati, Ohio this morning, going out all over the USA. Get on the CB and tell them, bozo's here. And if you're calling me long distance from anywhere from across the USA, it's 800-843-2441. Now live from Cinnamon City in downtown Gunter, Texas, it's the Ran the Man Show. About three dozen trucks. They stretch about two miles on Interstate 70. They are eastbound right now, heading for, for downtown Indianapolis. Along with organizing the convoys, a Cincinnati disc jockey known as the Truck and Bozo is telling listeners not to buy fuel and other supplies in Indiana. His radio show is heard from Kansas to New York. I've asked all the drivers to not buy anything in the state of Indiana to bring pressure upon the administration. If the bozo said anything, it's true. Believe him. When the bozo talks, truckers listen. Good morning. I'm the bozo on the big one as we roll along here. Hello to Max Henderson. He and old Possum Breath is somewhere down around Marietta, Florida, listening to us this morning. And the Indiana Roadrunner, let's see what we got on the telephone. Hello, bozo phone. You're on the air, and whose is? They have names like Possum Breath and Roadrunner, and they love Dale Summers, the self-proclaimed truckin' bozo on WLW Radio in Cincinnati. I think you're just, you're just handsome, oh, and boy. I want a picture of you to keep She's my bedroom. Going, going blind, I can tell that, too. <laughs> All right, little leopard, you have a good morning. On this morning, talk centers around Monday's massive truck convoy that crossed Indiana, a protest instigated by the bozo. We were in one lane, observing the speed laws, and motored across the state of Indiana. I don't know of anyone that got a ticket or anybody that was run off a road by a killer truck. I was alone when you found me. It's not the first such convoy, and Summers promises it won't be the last. Sentiment against Indiana's reduced speed limit for trucks remains strong. They just go ahead and convoy that state till the cows come home. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think they'll get somewhere. Well, okay. You put the gold in the morning sunlight. The bozo vigorously uses the radio to promote Indiana truck convoys to his national audience without apology. Here you sit in Ohio. Yeah influencing the traffic patterns on Indiana interstates. Mm -hmm. I certainly would. It wouldn't bother me if I was in Louisiana. I'd still do the same thing. It's concerning the truck drivers of North America, the American way of life. He urges civil and legal protests, and he offers his opinion on Indiana politics as well. Uh, Tonight on television, Uh and they said that... uh... We were just letting off a little steam, and then we didn't do nothing that's going to change the lawmakers' ways. Uh huh. The lawmakers said that they're not going to change anything, huh? Right. Well, you know the answer to that, then? Well, I guess we're going to have to keep on doing what we're doing. You you change the lawmakers. Right. We got to change the lawmakers. And so the big rigs roll on, and so does the bozo. I understand their problems, and I sympathize with them, and I try to help them. And with fifty thousand watts to work with. Summers can't get Indiana off his mind. Hang about it. 700 WLW Jerry Lee, the killer.
700 WLW with the Bozo. Good morning. Working our way up to the top of the hour. Coming up on 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, Eastern Daylight Time. This is uh, 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 it's a good song. See if you remember this one. I love you so much that I can't leave you. Even though my mind tells me I should. Marine Old Bound. There you go, Southern Pacific on 700 WLW. Good morning. It's Thursday morning already. I'm the Bozo. It's 12 past midnight in the Eastern Time Zone as we start into another Interstate 700. And hi to all of our friends in Denver, Colorado this morning listening to us from the big... Oh, Kareem. What'd you say, honey? Oh, I don't say much. What do you know? Well, I don't know too much. It's just good to hear your voice. Uh-huh. How's that? Where are you right now? I'm in Springfield, Massachusetts. a little embarrassing, you know. Well, it's kind of hard to tell over the telephone. What, what were you last week? I was listening for you all week long. Uh, I was in, uh, I was on vacation. Vacation? Yeah, vacation with who? Uh, no, I was on business. Uh, me and Randy and Mr. Reinhardt had to go on a business trip, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh -huh, yeah. Where'd yeah. you go, Bozo? Oh, uh, we was just right here in town. Didn't go nowhere, Corrine. Oh, uh -huh, that's what I've heard, that. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've heard you say yeah. that before. Yeah, uh, uh, the other phones are ringing here, Corrine. Uh, uh, Mr. Bozo, you take care of yourself, honey. I'll call you sometime when you got time to talk. Uh, yeah, I don't oh, mean talk. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, cool. Uh, Bye-bye. Well, I think uh, the reason a lot of us get into the business is because... Uh, I know several people that are like myself. They're very introverted. We're basically shy people. And uh, most of us were probably not the most popular guys in high school. Uh, you know, we had, uh, we were probably ugly ducklings when we were kids. You know, look at me. I didn't turn into no beauty queen, you know. But in any event, I was not the most popular guy in school, and I had visions of someday being somebody special. And when I found that I could get behind the microphone and be the person that I wished I could be all the time, then I was happy. Then when my show would be over, then I'd go, you know, well, it's time to be, you know, I'd leave. But then I'd get behind that microphone a few hours every day, and uh, I always wanted to be, you know, the life of the party. I think all of us want to be that. You know, we want to be popular. So when I get behind the microphone, I can be the person that I really want to be for five hours a day, and then that's about all I can handle it. So when I leave home, and I often say this, when I go home, the bozo stays here and Dale Summers goes home. Because I couldn't live with the bozo 24 hours a day. Oh, yeah. 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 It's nice for a few hours. Yeah. Right. You've been listening to the Blue Eyes Cafe with Rand the Man.